annoyed. If I'm going to talk about sports, I ain't going to waste my time talking to you. I'm going to be talking with Guy Gyerson. You love talking sports. He loves talking sports. It's the Sports Editorial with Guy Gyerson. Play ball! The Sports Editorial with Guy Geyerson. Brought to you by Plato. All right, I guess we got some new sponsorship. Someone should tell Guy Geyerson. Anyway, Guy Geyerson's my name. Talking sports is my game. Let's hit the field. Greg Gumbel has that it factor about him, and he has it in spades. Sure, he's fatter than his brother Bryant, but Greggy comes with none of the confusing in-your-face intellect and know-it-all that Bryant Gumbel uses. And sure, his voice sounds like he always has pancakes stuck in his throat, but at least he broadcasts sober, right, Harry Carey? Mr. Gumbel, as they said in the 1996 Tom Hanks masterpiece, you just keep doing that thing you do. Suck the lolly, talk to Sparty. Greg Gumbel, brought to you by Buick. I guess we're getting some more sponsorships. One day, Los Angeles Lakers fans will realize that Vladi Divac was their best center. I know Shaq and Jabbar had championships and Chamberlain had the numbers, but Vladak had the best beard any basketball player has ever had. I'm looking at you, Mike Jeminski, and who needs titles and records anyway when you had what Vladi had, a willingness to fall on the ground at the slightest bit of contact. Hey, someone needs to take a charge. A European salute to the Serbian Vladi Divac, best Lakers center ever. Flock of seagulls, talk to Spartals. Now it's time for a live read. Sponsored live read. Look over yonder and what do you see? A pushpin party for you and me. That's right. It's the pushpin place. New England, Oregon's leading outlet for pushpins at super duper discount prices. We got red ones, blue ones, big ones, and red ones. And now we've expanded our outlet to include thumbtacks. That's right. I said it. Not sturdy enough as a nail and more destructive than tape. Pushpins and thumbtacks have been keeping mediocre movie posters and light beer pinup girls on America's walls for over 22 years. So come on down to Highway 42B, right by Lepers Boulevard, to the Pushpin Place at party time. Put a smile on your face. It's party time at the Pushpin Place. Hop on the donkey. It's sports talking. Earl Douglas, brought to you by Incompetence. It's ironic that he played that for the wrong cue. It's not ironic, he's a fucking idiot. Well, Just ironic. <laughs> 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 well, Dan Marino, get off my back already. Sure, I call him a perennial loser, possible coke fiend and ugly, but that's my job as a sports commentator. Plus... We all have our faults. I've talked on this program about my arrest in 1990 for public lewdness during a groundbreaking ceremony for a local prison near my home. So it's not like I live in the glass house. Dan, stop with the threatening emails and phone calls already. That's just not something champions would do. But now that I think about it, I guess you wouldn't know how champions act, would you? Number 13, bring the power. Sports talk on the hour was watching Throw Mama from the Train last night and started thinking, if I had to compare Danny DeVito to one athlete, I think I would choose David Eckstein. Small, slightly grotesque, both men have one thing in common, big heart and full of surprises. So I guess that's two things in common. Nevertheless, whether it's a squeeze bunt or hitting Billy Crystal with a frying pan, DeVito and Eckstein are tiny tots with lots of guts. Eat your eggs, talk your sports! Danny DeVito, brought to you by Eggnog. All right, I, I, I think we get it with the, with the sponsors already. And that's the sports editorial for this week. Stay tuned for next 
where we have the always French Greg Lamont, Mr. Youthful Bob Shepard, and the comedy stylings of PJ Carlissimo and Latrell Sprewell. We talk to sports. It's the Ron and Fez Show on X97.3.